I recently flew on a turboprop driven plane and I was seated with a good view of the propeller out of the window. I just happened to take some video footage of the prop as it was turning and as you can see there's a really weird bendy propeller effect in the video. It's not just an artifact of the video itself, it happens on still frames too as you can see. So what's going on here? Why do propellers look bendy when they're shot on film or video? It's caused by a strobing effect, similar to the way that spoked wheels appear to turn backwards on film. Let's have a look at how a digital camera works. As you know, there's a grid of pixels which capture the image. Let's simplify that a lot down to this smaller grid. The camera, when it captures a still photo or a frame of video, samples the grid of pixels one row at a time. This is partly just because that's the way the technology works, but it's also partly done to mimic the way a curtain shutter works in a traditional camera. Anyway, so let's run a little simulation of a grid of pixels trying to capture a picture of a moving propeller. For this simulation I will colour in any pixel that's more than half full of blue if it's on the line that's being sampled. As the sampling is taking place the propeller's in motion so a different part of the propeller is being sampled at different rows of the image. We end up with a rather weird looking array of pixels. Let's turn that back into what it would probably look like if it was a higher resolution image. And there, that's how a propeller can look bendy when it's captured on a still image, on a digital camera or on a frame of video. Now other effects may actually happen. It, there are a lot of variables involved in this process, including the speed of the propeller, the number of blades, the starting positions of the propeller at each frame, the shutter speed, the frame rate. Other effects may show in the image, such as pieces of the propeller that don't actually appear attached to anything, or the image may show more blades than are actually truly existing on the propeller. So if we change the orientation of the camera, we'll see a different effect in each case. This is because although the propeller is staying the same, the motion of the virtual shutter across our field of view is different in each case. If we know the direction of rotation of the propeller, we could actually use this to figure out which way the shutter is moving in our camera. So there we go. That's why propellers look bendy on video.